morning to everybody, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I have to thank you, the uh, um, chair of this uh, conference, Dr. Chamanara, who I know has gone through a lot of uh, problems and troubles to have such a seminar. Uh, my topic today is about constructing a, a Kurdish language corpus. Since I know most of the audience are not probably familiar uh, with this concept, I have tried to give um, a little bit of introduction to what corpus is and then uh, move on uh, to uh, the problems we uh, do um, uh, came across while we were constructing the Kurdish corpus. Corpus, sorry. Towards uh, constructing a Kurdish corpus, uh, the present paper tries to introduce Kurdish corpus project, corpus project currently under construction uh, in the. Oh yes, excuse me. <laughs> That's, <laughs> it happens, probably old age. I can tell. <laughs> uh, excuse yes, me. It's okay. You have to be patient a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, because I see some diff different uh, uh, yeah, it's not the same. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the present paper tries to introduce Kurdish corpus project currently under construction in the University of Kurdistan, San Andajiran, and the problems associated with it. The uh, this project initiated two years ago and the first phase has been completed. This is the first Kurdish corpus available online. Sorani dialect is chosen because of its centrality and that it is spoken by the majority of Kurdish population in Iran and Iraq. The texts used in creating this website is mostly from the news websites like Kurt Press. The corpus at this stage consists of 69,000 news documents, including 14,898,000 words, which consist of 436,000 tokens from a variety of genres. Forty documents have been tagged syntactically with utmost deliberation. No stemmer has yet been used to the present corpus, so words like Kurdi and Kurd are counted as two words. Kurdish language has a plethora of dialects and writing systems, and this makes building the corpus a difficult job. Lack of standardization, the diversity of the dialects of Kurdish and some structural properties of Kurdish language also make it hard for tagging the words syntactically. There are also phonetic peculiarities in this language which makes, it, which makes phonetic tagging problem, problematic too. Absence of a solid OCR optical character recognition software for Kurdish language to change PDF files into text files to be machine readable is another major problem. All such texts have to be typed which is very time consuming and economically not viable. Despite all these problems, lack of resources and more, the corpus team in Kurdistan University are determined to continue doing their project. What is a corpus? A corpus can be defined as a systematic uh, collection of naturally occurring texts of both written and spoken language. 
systematic means that the structure and contents of the corpus follows certain extra linguistic principles, sampling principles, i.e. principles on the basis of which the text included were chosen. For example, a corpus is often restricted to certain text types, to one or several varieties of a language, and to a certain time, time span. If several subcategories, e.g. several text types, varieties, etc., are represented in a corpus, these are often represented by the same amount of text. Systematic also means that information on the exact composition of the corpus is available under researcher, to the researcher, including the number of words in each category and in the whole corpus, how the texts included in the corpus were sampled, etc. Although corpus can refer to any systematic text collection, it is commonly used in a narrower sense today. And it is often only to refer to systematic text collections that have been computerized. A corpus is a remarkable thing, not because it is a collection of language text, but because of the properties that it acquires if it is well designed and carefully constructed. Sinclair, 2004. Hanston, 2002, writes, it is no exaggeration to say that corpora and the study of corpora have revolutionized the study of language. I'm happy that some of the audience here are studying empirical linguistics and they do probably know what I'm talking about. Most probably. And the application of language over the last few decades. Since the 1980s, corpus linguistics has been applied, among other ways, to diction recreation, clear 1996, as an aid to interpretation of literary texts in forensic linguistics, language description, in language variation studies, and in the, in the production of language teaching materials. Uh, corpus data also uh, has also informed studies of the first and second language acquisition. So all these can really help Kurdish language if we have a good, uh, well-designed corpus. We can use uh, the Kurdish corpus in all these areas for the studies of Kurdish language. Culture, literature, and all the areas that I mentioned. Factors involved in Excuse me, I think I have not, yeah, mm, I'm sorry. Um, factors involved in uh, construction of corpus. As Sinclair, 2004 says, the job of corpus building divides itself into two stages, design and implementation. But these cannot be completely separated for reasons which are largely practical. One is the cost. Nowadays, most corpora are put together from text that is already digitized. The cost of putting into electronic form text which, is, which only exists on paper is very much greater than the cost of merely copying, downloading, and gathering data that is already digitized. So, there is to be com a compelling reason for using any of the more laborious methods which were used to capture data in the days before electronic data. Sometimes, however, it is necessary to do things the hard way. For a corpus uh, of Formal conversations, for example, a historical document or a handwritten manuscript material. But in all such cases, it is a worth 
It is worth a serious search of various collections and archives, and perhaps a query on the professional lists. You have five minutes left. Before, thank you. Before undertaking the labor of entering new texts. Sinclair 2004 believes which web pages are likely to be the most immediately accessible sources of material. They are by no means the only source and some of the most valuable text material is merely indexed on a web page requiring further searching. For example, many uh, large document archives put up their catalog on the web and give opportunities for downloading in various formats. Here, uh, the web is playing the role of a portal. Other providers of text data may uh, issue CDs, especially when there is a lot of data to be transferred. Sometimes payment is required, especially for material that is popular and under copyright. Corbus builders should consider carefully the costs of such data and whether it is justified. Indicative, not definitive. The results of Corpus uh, research so far are indicative of patterns and trends, of core structure and likely contributions to theory and description. But they are not definitive. It should become a major objective of serious corpus research to improve the procedures and criteria so that the reliability of the descriptive statement increases. However, this move to greater maturity of the discipline is not an admission of any limitations. Corpora are, are ultimately finite and that this is a positive property of them, giving them descriptive clarity. A description uh, based on an adequate theory and a very large and carefully built corpus combined with flexible and theory-driven software will provide descriptions far above what we live with at present. The fact that, like any other conceivable description, they will not reflect the ultimate Flexibility and creativity of language will be of interest to a small group of specialists, no doubt, but not to the mainstream of research. Two Thank you. Software for building corpus. We need uh, different softwares for building the corpus, of course. Um, and th these are the problems we are really facing the, um, for creating the Kurdish corpus. If you ask Google for corpus builder, you get a number of useful clues. Um, excuse me for the lag for changing the um, slides. If you ask Google for the corpus builder, you get a number of useful clues which can support corpus building activities. For example, recognizing a particular language in order to select only text in that language. Software is also offered which will build a corpus for you, index it and allow searches of various kinds. More and more of this kind of product is likely to appear and according to our purposes and resources, uh, we may look into su suitable packages. Free or open source software is often more specialized than the commercial products, but it is more likely to be tricky to install and it is not always friendly to use. Uh, so be prepared for some initial problems with this if we are going to use uh, free softwares.
Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I was taking my time, according to, I have two minutes, but, <laughs> okay. Uh, can I have my conclusion? Yes, sure. Okay, thank you. <laughs> if not the summary, at least the conclusion. Thank this you. This is not lying, by the way. No. <laughs> <laughs> conclusion. All that said, when it comes to Kurdish language, the problems double, or even more. That's what I'm going to point out and try to find solutions for. Kurdish languages among less documented languages with relatively less written materials. There are less online materials compared to even Persian language, let alone English. All this makes it harder to compile a corpus large enough for certain purposes. Lack of language standardization is yet another problem for uh, not fully tackled yet. Another problem is the writing system of Kurdish language, which is not standard and does not follow a unique form. Sheikh Islami, uh, twenty. 2012, in his paper, Challenges in Kurdish Text Processing, mentions these problems in detail. One more problem is that since Kurdish is not officially taught at schools, at least in Iran, very few people are familiar with the formalities of the language, which makes it more difficult for the people working, working on the corpus project. Thank you for your patience.